How does it feel to go out to and see an expansion? Oh, it's unbelievable. You know, that's a great question because uh, it's very, very... I've, I've seen this whole area change so much. And, uh, you know, I grew up here but wasn't around here for many years because my parents moved away and I was working. But then uh, when I went to USC, I came, I came back for a couple ball games when we played up here and saw it. And it was still kind of the same as it was when I grew up. And then, with the transformation of coming here, what, six, six years ago, or leaving here six years ago, seeing the start of it, this building, and now coming and looking at it. This was new. <laughs> the building was new. Baseball stadium was new. The softball stadium was new. The practice fields were new. And the indoor facilities new. And then, this is the granddaddy of them all. Uh, and, you know, I've seen Parker Research Stadium for, I guess, almost 40 years now. So, it's pretty special. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm looking forward to sitting up there this year. That, that new temporary addition will probably be better seats than the original ones. Well, it looks higher. I heard that there was a hundred more seats. Yeah. So it's about the same. It's about the same, but it looks higher, yeah. you know. Um, how do you think research will uh, help not just football programs, but university overall? Well, you know, the, the football is the driving force economically for college athletics. And uh, I think football played a major impact uh, here in the last six years in enrollment. Uh, and so I think the, the continued upgrading of what goes on here has a chance to be uplifting for, for sure, the entire athletic department, but I think residually the whole university. Yeah. Uh, how will the research expansion impact recruiting? Oh, I think it's, it's, uh, it's huge. Uh, I think one of the most important things, just like when the Valley Football Center was built, that recruits see that, hey, somebody cares about football here. You know, and, and uh, these recruits are being recruited in a lot of places that are building new stuff and doing new things. And, and you know, I, I actually don't know how important it should be in a guy's decision, but I do know that it, it plays a part. Oh, definitely. Yeah. And so I think it's a very important part. Uh, again, some of those other byproducts of what this stadium is going to do for us economically, one of the byproducts is I think it will help in recruitment. Now, how about the alumni and the uh, fans? Oh, I think they're all proud of it. I think that, uh, you know, they've, they've seen this program uh, rise tremendously over the past uh, short term, and they're proud of that, and I think that this is uh, just another sign for them that things are moving on forward. Um, in the long run, do you feel that there will be any concern of feeling racer? No, we're going to keep going with that. No, I, I think, didn't think so. I think so. it's, it's uh, you know, when you have 20-something straight sellouts and you can increase your budget over a longer period of time, you know, our intention is to keep winning now, you know, uh, but, but regardless, it'll be selling suites, selling season tickets, the whole deal. It's all an important factor here. And uh, uh, I think with the great interest in the Pac-10 and, and with the high level of football in this state, I think that uh, it's going to be hard to get a ticket. Uh, how do you feel about the LSU game? Well, I hate to open with such an easy game. <laughs> I think it's a trick. Really, we got to find a way to get down into this. Uh, it's not only a physical challenge because they're good people. They're, they're, they're be, we're going to have to be mentally tough. You know? We're going to deal with a hostile environment, and we're going to uh, deal with the weather that we're not used to. Chile, it's going it's to be special. And I think our team can grow out of that. That's my intention, anyway.